Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. Who doesn't love the next level stuff? Who haven't dreamed about flying? With new forms of transportation popping up around the world, almost every day. We decided to publish a collection of awesome hoverboard and flyboard technologies. So sit back and watch the video till the end. The first one in the list is Hendo Hoverboard. The enabling technologies for its success have been in existence, but no one had yet been able to align them to give rise to a hoverboard Hendo has done so. The magic behind the hoverboard lies in its disc-shaped hover engines. These engines induce an opposing magnetic field in the surface substrate below that provides lift, levitating the board off the ground. Maglev, which is already used to power superfast, hovering trains in Japan, China and South Korea. These trains use magnets to create lift and thrust, and can travel at blistering paces because there is no friction between the train's wheels and axles and the rails. But the tech behind the Hendo hoverboard is different from current applications of Maglev, for various reasons. The most obvious difference is that, unlike a train, the board doesn't follow a track. Instead, it hovers freely on top of a surface plated in copper. Copper is what's known as an inductor. An inductor is a metal that isn't magnetic. When you put a magnet near such a metal, an electric current starts to flow in the metal. This current, in turn, causes a magnetic field to develop outward from the metal. If the magnetic field that develops is strong enough, it can levitate the magnet. If it's really strong, it can also levitate any object that happens to be attached to the magnet, including a hoverboard. Now the next one is Archiboard. The Archiboard is a revolutionary breakthrough for transportation. For the first time, every person will be able to fly anytime, anywhere. The world, your world, will change forever. The Archiboard is a machine lifted by 36 high-power electric ducted fans with a maximum thrust of 430 pounds. It has a built-in stabilization unit, meaning that Archiboard is stable in any condition and is a very safe platform to fly on. You will be able to utilize your phone for control and navigation of the vehicle itself. But for the most intense experience you can turn off the stabilization system and steer the Archiboard with your body. Excellence in Simplicity Designing a shape for a revolutionary vehicle is no simple task. How did the 272 horsepower is put inside a vehicle slightly larger than a skateboard? The answer is with very great care. The electric ducted fans, together with the controllers and the batteries, they occupy 90% of the space inside the board. This generates a significant amount of heat that is dissipated using a high-performance cooling system. By using 36 power fans it ensures that even in the case of multiple motor failures there are enough motors remaining to take over so you keep on riding. Quick and without any strings attached. The off-the-box charger will allow us to recharge the ARCA board in 6 hours. However, the ARCA dock accessory will bring the onboard batteries to full capacity in 1 hour, faster than it takes to charge your smartphone or tablet without having to bother with cables. Now this is Lexus. Creating slide required re-engineering core technologies and uncovering true technical innovations. From assembling maglev technology into a board, to finding the right combination of superconductors, magnets and liquid nitrogen every step pushed the team to stretch the possibilities of technology. The hoverboard is constructed from an insulated core, containing high-temperature superconducting blocks. These are housed in cryostats, reservoirs of liquid nitrogen that cool the superconductors to 197 degrees Celsius. The board is then placed above a track containing permanent magnets.
When the board is cooled to its operating temperature the track's magnetic flux lines are pinned into place, maintaining the hover height of the board liquid nitrogen-filled cryostat inlaid with superconducting blocks. It took months of testing to transform maglev technology into a refined track and board. From building a new track, to figuring out the perfect amount of lift, hoverboard or testing days on end to get the Lexus hoverboard ready to ride. Designing the park took old and new principles of motion and skateboarding, but also pushed the hoverboard test rider to remaster his abilities to discover how style, tricks and technique created the modern ride. Next is flyboard. Having the flyboard, or rocket boots as we like to call them, strapped to your feet allows you to go up to heights of 30 feet in the air and dive under the water and shoot straight out again, exactly like a dolphin. Flyboard is an activity anyone can learn in only taking 5 to 10 minutes. It achieved a Guinness World Record for farthest flight by hoverboard in April 2016 of 2,252.4 meters. Zapata Racing claims that it allows flight up to an altitude of 10,000 feet and has a top speed of 93 miles per hour. A flyboard rider stands on a board connected by a long hose to a watercraft. Water is forced under pressure to a pair of boots with jet nozzles underneath which provide thrust for the rider to fly up to 49 feet in the air or to dive headlong through the water down to 8 feet. Now the last one in the list is Airwheel. Fuzzy software algorithm and gyroscope system to maintain balance by leaning forward and backward. Riders can control the scooter to go forward, accelerate, decelerate, brake, etc. by leaning forward or backward. Similar to the techniques of riding a bicycle, riders achieve balance via slightly tilting sideways. Airwheel is internally architectured to be as space-saving as possible for the large capacity battery. Mounted with 130WH battery core and optimized by CPU power saving design, Airwheel delivers sufficient battery range. When Airwheel tilts to over 45 degrees sideways, example when Airwheel turns over, the control system will activate tilting protection. The motor will stall immediately to prevent injuries. To prevent injuries caused by speeding, Airwheel sets a maximum speed. When the speed exceeds 12 km per hour, the front end of the pedal will rise gradually and when the speed exceeds 16 km per hour, the pedal will pose a 10 degree angle to the leveling surface, which stop you from inclining further to accelerate. The front end of the pedal will sink to force you to decelerate and eventually stop. So which one of these you like the most do let us know. Thanks for watching.